Elves, the Elves family listening in or watching from Ireland and other friends of Colum and to be here at the Alpha School of Music uh, with, a, with an order that started in Ireland all those years ago is just extraordinary and, uh, and, and beautiful. So thank you very, very much. But I suppose the words of Rowan really resonated with me because he told his story of jumping in over the wall or the gate and coming here and then adopting music and becoming the extraordinary young man that he is today. So I'd just like to compliment him and wish him continued success in all fields that he is pursuing. It's a sad, but it's also a happy day as we come together to remember our dear friend and colleague, Colm Dells. In Jamaica, people would associate Colm with Digicel and the corporate world, the rough and tumble of the corporate world. But what many people don't realize is that he almost chose a different path in life. Years ago, when looking to pursue his university studies, Colm met the director of the Royal Irish Academy of Music. And he spoke to him about doing a degree course in music. Such was his passion for music at that time. It took some persuading, but his parents, John Sr. and Rosemary, managed to convince him to study business instead at Dublin City University, saying he could always do music after studying accounting. Well, as we know, the rest is history. He went on to study chartered accounting with uh, KPMG, which ultimately led him to joining Digicel in 2003. But that didn't mean that he left his love of music behind. On the contrary, it was an integral part of his life. As everyone who was close to him knew, he remained an avid fan and a talented amateur musician himself. Colm, Paula, Hannah made Jacob Jamaica their home 11 years ago, and he happily embraced the way of life and the rich Jamaican culture, especially the music. It was as if he had the best of both worlds, the warmth of Jamaica and the music of Jamaica and his senior role within Digicel. In a cruel twist of fate, he was diagnosed with cancer in fe February 2019. Less than a year of him stepping down as, his, as our usually successful CEO of Digicel to spend more time in Ireland with his family. This brings us here to Alpha, one year after his untimely passing. Colm loved Jamaica, the country, the vibe, the music. We couldn't think of a better way to honor him than to work with Alpha to foster the talent of young musicians and to contribute to the continuation of Jamaica's musical legacy. Our Digicel Jamaica Foundation, led by Charmaine, has been instrumental in seeing this project through, project through to completion. Colin was a massive supporter of the foundation. This investment under our education portfolio marks the foundation's largest investment in a music program to date. We are so proud to be here to work with the Alpha community and everybody associated with the music school and we know and we will treasure this gift to you. Aligning with Colm's heart for service, this project helps Alpha to continue serving at-risk young men by giving them training in music and other skills. The Alpha Institute has served as the incubator for so many of Jamaican's talented musicians and it is even considered the birthplace of ska. Thank you for joining me officially to open this centre and also for celebrating Colin's life. Thank you very, very much.